Hey guys! It's been a difficult time of the year for me because I've known about this video, I've known about what Lord of the Lost has been up to and is going to be up to in the next coming days, I think, the next coming days, for a very long time. They entrusted me with their secrets and I must say, I've kept them. I've kept them. But now we're here to check out this video, this video that's their own gift to all of us in this time of giving. Blood and glitter going together like wine and cheeses. Yeah. Some all wine right. and cheeses. That's all we need around this time of the year. Some more cheeses. All right. <laughs> Anyhow. Episode. Family Guys is the best. It's because he just couldn't find out what to call his son. Is that how the whole thing got started? Yeah. like you I just, just seen the guy saying wine and cheeses, but I didn't know. Yeah, like he was. couldn't find out what to call his son. And then he's like, oh God, calm down. You want some wine and cheeses? He's like, say that again. Cheeses. Wine and cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I do. I do like some wine and cheeses. <laughs> even though now I can, even though now I cannot have the cheeses because I'm lactose intolerant. But, but the fuck, wine is good. But the wine is good. Okay. But the wine is good. All right, wine is always good. There's always a good time to have a glass of wine. I say. Uh, are you ready for this? I mean, I, I, honestly, when when this hit my radar, when 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 I was told that this was coming, I was like, "Fuck yeah! Let's finish the year with a huge boner." Yeah. So. Blood and glitter. Here we are. Uh, were you shocked when I told you about it? Because you're the only person that I told. I was. Yeah, you were the only. Per so you didn't keep this. Well, you somewhat kept ah, the it's secret. Within the, it's within the circle it's of within trust. It's within the camp. Yeah, it's the circle of um, trust. I was very surprised, but I was also very excited. Ah, me too, man. These guys could release a new album every year. I would be there for it. So, you guys ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's fucking do it. Blood and glitter, sweet and bitter. We're so happy we could die. Blood and what we are is but a choice, a promise to ourselves. We are free to break and change Never forget that it go There's so much no need to know Whether above or below We are all from the same blood Blood and glitter, sweet and bitter We're so happy we could die Blood and glitter No. 
Come on! That was the money shot! I was waiting for the fucking money shot! No nipple rings. Unfortunately. You wanna throw it at the screen? Yeah, <laughs> I saw that coming. I, I honestly, I saw, I saw that coming. So, uh, what do you? I have so much to say, but if I start talking, I'm not gonna let you talk, and I feel like I need to give you, uh, you know, I need to give you a platform. So, um, I, uh, dude, like the whole everything about everything about the video wasn't like. Really good, but I, I gotta say, I, I did out of everything in this video. His ass. I mean, his ass. Yes, of course, of course, young man, of course. <laughs> yes. Only at a reach of a few. The ass is the closest to the heart. Is that is that the way to a man's heart? I, I I don't. Not every man. I I'm assuming, <laughs> but not me at least. But. What I also enjoyed were the leg shots. There were so many goddamn leg shots. I know, he took a little bit of the LL Cool J thing and he took it all the way up to the crotch. Because LL Cool J used to have one leg r rolled up all the I way know, to his knee. I know, JTG used to have that shit too. Alright, alright. But, uh, no, it was just all the way up there. And then he had the, the, what's it called? I don't know what type of boots those were. Those were like quickie boots. Those were quickie boots. Those were quickie boots. The yes. fuck me boots is all the way to your knees. Yes. Those are kind of I think quickie that's where, boots. That's where he's lacking. He wasn't wearing fuck me boots. Wearing... Uh, uh, yeah, but if you have fuck me boots, then the whole one leg missing thing, like the whole attire gets. I think. I think. I think he should have been wearing them while he had his ass out in the end. Like you should have saw the tip of the quickie boots. He looked like a fucked uh, up sunflower the, the seed. Uh, sunflower seed. Sunflower. <laughs> really? Not a seed. Just the sunflower itself. He looked like he'd be on RuPaul's uh, Drag Race. Oh fuck yeah. Probably would win it too. Probably, yes. Probably would win it too. Yes. So maybe, you know, when he's not dabbing in, in music, maybe that's something that Chris can look into. Uh, what else you want to throw in there? The Bukaki of Blood? It, it looked like a gore show. It did look like a gore show. <laughs> it looked like they were filming this at a gore show. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I enjoyed it. I mean, it had... It's, it had glitter and it had blood. It had blood. But I think it's just because the song is Lord of the Lost. You know, it's that... I think it's the two sides of Lord of the Lost. The you more, the, the more side. you have the heavy side, almost like industrial to a, to a certain degree, in terms of how heavy the guitars the are and the vocals. Sound. And then you have the almost the eighties. Yes. Like that eighties electronic pop. pop sound that bands like Devo had, or Flock of Seagulls. Uh, maybe I'm dating myself here, or um, you know, let's just go with those two: Devo and Flock of Seagulls. Those are two good. Uh, Alphaville, Alphaville. If I want to throw another one in there, Ben said this guy has no clue what I'm talking about whatsoever. But so anyhow, a Flock of Seagulls from like Steven Seagulls? No, no, no. That was a different flock. That was a different flock. Uh, yeah, they were. Not just Steven Seagulls playing the song. No. Nah, fuck that shit. This, this there's only one band that can play this song. I don't know about that. It's Lord of the Lost. Imagine that this thing on a banjo. Ding ding diddle ding diddle diddle ding. Instead of the the roof. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. I think now you're. I think you're losing yourself a little bit. Ding, diddle, ding, 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 diddle, I think now you're being a little bit of a bunny rabbit. You're losing yourself on this one. So uh, can I go in? That was a good one. Uh, yeah, deep cuts. Uh, can I go in a little bit on this? Yeah. All right. So let me start off by saying this. Uh, going a little bit back to what I said. A little bit of both sides of Lord of the Lost on this. It still had some, uh, uh, lyrically wise, even sound to a certain extent, it still has a little bit of Judas. Yeah. You know, the theme yeah. of the song, the sound, it's not fully, the. it's not like they've like completely ripped that Bible apart and moved on to, to another holy scripture. But, but you could also say that about uh, You're Not My Enemy. They came out about the, yeah, the, war. True. the war. Yeah, that's that, true. That is also very Judas-like. And also, I think that is the perfect comparison of this song. If you're going to compare this song to anything, you compare it to that one. Yeah. 
point point taken and and really well said so i felt that right there but the the elements of lord of the lost like i said are there the heavier almost industrial sound there with the heavier vocals and the heavier guitars and drums that that almost like a grinding sound like you you just feel the the thickness in the air almost like a more serious tone serious side and then that 80s like i said flock of seagulls whatever uh more jovial keyboard driven sound that they have mixing perfectly together because if you have blood and glitter you, you couldn't have two things that are more separated from one another i mean when you think about blood you think about like death and you know something horrible happened you know and then when you think of glitter you think about like raves and parties and people having a good time you don't think of those two things as going hand in hand so when you have a song that has that name blood and glitter and you try to bring them together and you're trying to unify those two worlds you have to create a song that musically also brings two different worlds together that also and kind of exactly defeats the wine and cheeses part of the start of the video it's more like water and oil yeah but i was kind of I was, I was you wanted sarcastic. Make, you wanted to make the white like, wine and like here we go again. Like you need to be more clear with your sarcasm. If I'm more clear with my sarcasm, then I'm not being sarcastic anymore. So anyhow, that's that's where that comes from. The visuals of the video are really well done. I really enjoy. Yeah. It. Uh, I love the. I, you know, even though I would like to see the ass shot, let's face the facts. If that happened, this video would be in on Pornhub. No, because the Thor Ragnarok uh, or whatever the fuck the new Thor movie was. Is there ass too? Uh, in the yeah, there's ass. In the new, in the new I know, movie. but I'm sure YouTube would make this like 18 and 18 and up or whatever. Some some community guideline restrictions it's on this ass. shit. I know, but people these days, you know, they see a crack and and they don't want to smoke it. You know what I mean? So, fuck. The times have changed. Times have changed. So anyhow, uh, I love the vi the visuals, like the the way he's dressed. Like I said, like the sunflower that's all the the botched, for lack of a better term. Uh, the one leg thing, the way they look, um, the visuals, it's its all part of Lord of the Lost. They're a band that has the, the musical side, but they also have the visual side. They really incorporate those two worlds well, and I think you cannot really separate them when it comes to this band. They're a band that unifies what their sound means with what their visual presence is. And I think this video, uh, amongst many others that they have done, really brings to light uh, that that merger of, of, multi, of a multitude of elements that an artist can be. A, a musical artist doesn't have to be just a lyricist, doesn't have to be just a musician. You can be a lot more than that. Your videos should be part of the extension of who you are as an artist because that's what people are gonna see. Not only are they gonna hear your music, but that's how they're gonna see. And I think you have to use that, not just as an element of elevating the song, but elevating yourself as an artist as well. Be as creative as you can. Um, and a lot of bands put that in somebody else's hands and I'm totally cool with that. But for a band like Lord of the Lost, that it's a, a, a multifaceted band as far as the uh, the artistic side that they have, having the videos really represent who they are as people, how they think, who, how they see themselves, I, I think it's great. No inhibitions, you know, they're not like worried about what people are going to think or not think. And, and I think we, we need more, more people like that. We need more artists like that. We need more empowerment like that, that you're, 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 when you're creating art, you shouldn't be creating art thinking of how are people going to perceive that same art. It would be like me writing a bunch of jokes to go to yuck yucks or whatever and thinking beforehand, are people going to be offended by these jokes? That shouldn't, that shouldn't be part of the consideration. If you're a true artist, that shouldn't go... Because now you're censoring yourself even before you're creating your art. So I think you have to give yourself a little bit of freedom to be who you are. Understanding that there's going to be people that are going to look at this and say that they are... Uh, they, they are the last remnants of, of a dying scene. You know, some people will say that, but what the fuck do they know? That's very true. All right, that's my rant for this video. <laughs> you can put that on your press release. Okay. <laughs> that would be a very long press release. Yeah, long it Long-winded press release. It would. But don't you agree, though? I agree, I agree. But... <laughs> yeah, press release should, should show this. I, I just... I honestly always... I've always seen, since we've discovered Lord of the Lost... I've always seen them not just as a band that makes music, but as a band that's fully integrated in all all parts of what it means to be an artist. Yeah. And when you look at an artist, we're in 2022. When you look at an artist, you have to look at the music, at the lyrics, at the cover, uh, the artwork of your album, what goes into the design of your album, your t-shirts, your stage presence, what you're doing on stage, how you present your yourself, videos. your music videos. 
I mean, how many people go watch, how many people discover this man through a video? Through a video. That's how we discover them. We didn't yeah. discover them on Spotify or whatever. Through a video. So representing yourself across every multitude, every facet. That is the of definition it, of an artist. Thank you. And that's why I love this band. That's why I love this band. Because they're always pushing the envelope. I mean, at this point, they're not even pushing the envelope anymore. They're just being who they are. Exactly. I, nothing, I think, re nothing really shocks me. I, I they... think it would be a 10 out of 10 ban if Chris had nipple rings. I was going to say, it would have been... This video would have been a 10 out of 10. If they showed full ass, yes. No, and then there was a little bit of a shadow in terms of what's behind the ass or in front of the ass, depending on where you are. I mean, you want to see ass, but you want them to spread his legs just a little bit so you can see a hint of balls. <laughs> just a hint. Just a hint. A shade. A seasoning... A shade, like a shade. A shade. Okay. If you're going to push the envelope, you might as well go balls deep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just saying. But this was fucking great. Yeah. Fucking great. Thank you for the video. Thank you for this song. Thank you for this Christmas gift. I mean, it's incredible. These guys are something else. Uh, they don't give a shit. They're just going to do what they want to do. And I love that as well. So thank you for watching. Thank you to Chris and the guys in the band. Thank you. For allowing us... Uh, to pre-record, because you guys are watching this video now, the video is out on their channel, but we're recording this like five days in advance or four days in advance. So they've been kind enough to provide us this in advance so that we could record the video because it's the holidays and we're doing other shit too. So, and they entrust us with their music, with their art, and that means the world to me and honestly means the world to me. Uh, so thank you to everybody in the Lord of the Lost Camp, Chris, everybody else, and uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy the holidays. I hope they're being good to you. I hope you're having a lot of fun. Uh, and like I always tell my friends, don't do anything that I wouldn't do. It, it leaves room for a lot. Yeah. Balls as well. All right. You good? Yeah. We'll see you all at the next one. See ya.